Hello and welcome to Q&A. We would like to find out what are the advantages to use EGDIS and what kind of training do navigating officers need prior to use EGDIS on board. Let's go! Paper chart on a chart table, a set of parallel rulers and a set of compass dividers are time-tested and widely used tools for shipboard navigation in the near past. But in modern life, EGDIS is a real-time navigation system that is replacing the need for ships to carry the paper nautical charts. An electronic chart system is much more than a simple device to reproduce a paper nautical chart on the screen. Here we are going to name some EGDIS advantages and clarify the need of proper initial EGDIS training for ship's bridge crew members. So follow me. Among the EGDIS advantages, we have the next list of the items. Using the electronic chart as an integrated navigational system means uh, that watch officer can focus his attention on overall situational awareness without running between a chart table, a position fixing device, the radar and the automatic identification system. Agdis can display the chart selling area on the monitor as a unique chart image for a specific vessel based on her draft. Safe and shallow water, safety contour, safety depth and so parameters may be selected for displaying. Only the information that the officer on the watch considers important is shown on the EGDIS screen. EGDIS gives the opportunity to temporarily remove the information for the not-in-hand task. In EGDIS, the ship's symbols can sail across the electronic chart display in real time and through motion. And it's true to scale speed. The vessel's position on the electronic chart is updated every second and the adjacent charted area is displayed. And all of that is done automatically without the need to change the charts. Agdis can demonstrate about the chart the green colored layer of radar echo, which could be compared to the charted coastline. The radar image should closely match the charted shoreline. Agdis has the option to display AS targets on the chart, each with a vector indicating directions and speed. Officer on the watch can confirm the values matching the radar echo overlay. Agdis increases the graphical level of track keeping control, including the planned radius of dawn with the expected area of deviation. Also, the mapped hazard can be distinguished on the route in time advance 
by the exit look ahead function. Exit hides chat information about display chat object, which can be easily analyzed using a simple mouse click on the chat object. Also, officer on the watch can add any additional information for the chat area or object using the Marina node tool. Agdis can display tide and current area information, weather forecasts, and many other additional handbooks that may be integrated into it. The very important benefit of the use of Agdis is, of course, simplifying the marine chart handling and correction process. Today, this is just a process of file downloading and the file installing instead of the huge amount of a paperwork in the past. So, Edits should be also seen as a decision support system for officer on the watch that contains in its memory other important navigational information in a harmonized, integrated way. Using EGDIS, the watch is not only safe, but also efficient and more economical, and it helps to avoid unnecessary costs related to paper chat services. In the simplest sense, EGDIS answers to some basic questions such as open ship position, obstacles and hazards to be avoided, information about other vessels, present weather conditions, and dangers along the planned route. But except EGDIS is a very useful tool on the navigational bridge, it is still a tool, a complicated part of a navigational complex. The main anti-grounding tool of the modern vessel. And that's why every officer on the watch must be initially properly trained and certified to meet the marine industry standards. Initial EGDIS training should meet the IMO 127 model course designed to meet STCW requirements in the use of EGDIS, including the 2010 Manila Amendments. And it means that initial training is delivered during 40 hours in 5-day period, covering 37 topics in 5 general subject area. This course covers all basic theories about the EGDIS. It, it should be understood that 127 course is a generic course that requires a structured and complementary onboard ship specific EGDIS familiarization for each shipboard EGDIS system on which the navigational officer serves. As a part of ISM code regulations, officer on watch must pass an EGDIS produce a specific course before joining the vessel. Only after that amount of training, bridge crew allowed to navigate using EGDIS safely. We slide the button for the next question already, but to help us, we need you to subscribe to the channel, and we hope your thumb is rising up for the like.